Bionanogenomics Technical Analysis Fundamental Statistics, along with reviewing my current positions and their price targets. Starting off with the price action, we did see a massive sell-off today. How much of this is actually just the market dumping? I would say probably a lot. Okay, open, open, opening up with the pre-market, we did find a bottom, it, it looked like, on this ascending level that I'm highlighting right now. I know this chart is very confusing, but we are going to explain this. Don't worry. Okay, we did. This is basically going back to the breakout. I did think this was going to hold, but then obviously, you know, the one thing that two things that basically disregard all technicals are news catalysts either direction up or down and the market sentiment in general the broader markets if they dump they can screw everyone although when they pump they don't really help a lot of my stocks at least on my watch list it seems like but we did we did dump and we did find a bottom on this ascending golden trend line right here this ascending support this was validated on the 12th as well uh personally you know unless the markets dump okay unless the markets dump i'm extremely confident we're going to be seeing some very uh very bullish price action in the next couple of days um we i mean obviously we're going to have a ton of support levels previous support levels now turning to resistance that is a major bummer but let's take a look at the relative strength index in the hourly. We're looking at 35, guys. We're oversold. We're very oversold. Okay, daily RSI, again, this one's kind of skewed because we've went up from $0.40 cents to $15. But we are approaching more neutral with oversold territory. We're at 6160 but on the hourly, guys, come, come on. we're oversold. In my opinion, we're oversold by a landslide. We have a catalyst coming up today that we will be going over. If you are thinking about getting an entry point on the stock, if you are going to get an entry point, the one thing I would watch is the broader markets. If the markets dump, this stock has no chance because everyone is scared. There's a ton of fear right now. They're I don't really agree with all the fear. Just if you if you do a little risk management, uh, like just invest a little bit of your portfolio in this, you're going to be fine in my opinion. But entry points to watch if you're looking to get in is going to be anywhere from $12.58 going to the close today, uh, $12.65, anywhere in that range. And even guys on the screen, like they have a level of support, even $12.83. These are all good load up zones. If I had any more buying power, I would load up. I'm still, I have not sold any of my shares. I could have sold up here. I knew we were a little overbought, but guys, I know I do not sell my bio nano shares for a lot of reasons, mostly because catalysts literally can happen at any time on the stock. There's so many catalysts that they can just drop like out of thin air and, and it'll, it'll rock it. It'll rocket uh hundreds of percentages i mean let's look at the daily chart okay this is what happens all right if, if you would have sold here yeah you would have made a lot of profit depending on where you got in but look at what you missed out okay i'm holding all of my shares personally and i will continue to hold even if we even if we dump all the way to this level right here um I, that's extremely unlikely but guys if we actually do really quickly if we do dump if the markets start crashing again uh below this trend line that we just that we just got a bounce over this is going to be maybe your strongest level of support to watch okay let me just zoom out let's get rid of this fibonacci really quickly so i can actually so you can actually see a little better let's go to the two hour real quick okay actually let's just zoom out real quick on this on the one hour okay this bull pennant right here this ascending trend line all right let me go ahead and make that gold so we can see a little better this is going to be an extremely strong level of support. Obviously, we've validated this so many times. If we bounce, if we come down to this bottom uh, level right here, anywhere from if we jump right now, anywhere from twelve dollars and sixteen cents going to the close tomorrow, twelve dollars and nineteen cents. That's going to be an extremely strong entry point, in my opinion. Personally, I think there's a very, very low chance that we dump there but the markets can dump this flash crash i mean this essentially was a flash crash okay there wasn't really a reason for this the jobless claims were bad but that hasn't stopped us in the in the past right no one cares about the jobless claims everyone just wants to make money but there's a lot of fear in the market so something like that will set a little people on edge i guess and then you know the panic sellers the beginners the investors they will just start panicking anytime they see a little red you know how it goes but if it does break this level of ascending support that this next level i it would probably take honestly it would take either like a major news catalyst that's just extremely negative on bio nano or it would take literally the markets crashing to break this level in my opinion okay i don't even think i think there's a low chance we're gonna be breaking this level but we do have a ton of resistance levels coming up okay we have a thousand resistance levels now we had a ton of supports we slowly broke through them all thank you markets and broader markets yeah that that's basically what did it yeah that sucks but we're still in this ascending channel as long as we can hold one of these two trend lines we're still going to be an upward and an upward channel okay i mean so it's no worry we're oversold in rsi this is a great entry point in my opinion taking a look at the bands 
this is actually very bearish, okay, but this stat is not always right, okay? Of course, with no technical analysis, statistic is going to be giving you a 100% accurate indication of where the price action will go. But when these when these do hook out, it typically indicates more volatility and an increased chance of continuing in the direction of the price action that you, that you started hooking out with. Sorry, the start of the band started increasing in distance away from each other. So that's pretty much what we're looking at. Let's take a look at some fundamental statistics. Short interest, sh the amount of shorts that were traded on uh, on the 17th yesterday, 16%. Um, how many of these were covering? How many of these were making new positions? It's hard to say. We don't know exactly, but we are going to be looking at FinBiz in a second to get some more information on that. Okay, looking at the institutional ownership, uh, we are still looking at 6% roughly. So, you know, I mean, not a ton of change there. Um, but look at this, okay? This is the 17th. We only have one one uh, update from the 17th. But on the 16th, look at this, okay? It's almost all green. It's all, everyone is loading up. And guys, institutions, let me tell you something. These guys do not typically swing trade or day trade. These guys want to be in the long term. They want to make hundreds of percentages. When they do that, their small, small amount of their portfolio in stocks like these, in stocks like that we are in, like all of these, they typically are trying to hold for a while. In my experience, that's what I have learned based on this. Okay, I can always be wrong. Remember that. Okay, I can always be wrong, and I, I, I can always make mistakes. Okay, insider ownership. This is actually down, if I'm remembering correctly. But guys, look at this. Look at the float. Okay, yeah, only three percent of the insiders in the company actually own shares, but twelve percent of the float is owned by insiders. This means that the, of the people who are investing in their own company in the actual BioNano uh, headquarters, they are extremely confident because. They're loading up shares, 12% of the floats, 8 million shares, 8 million shares. These 3% of insiders are owning. That's a lot of shares. This is an extremely bullish indicator, in my opinion. Finviz, core K, according to when this was last updated, 17% of the float of the shares in the float have been sold short. These people will cover eventually. A lot of them will probably be covering any day now, any minute now. Okay, we have found a bottom, and the markets do seem to have found a bottom. Okay, as I'm saying that, we are literally doing another flash crash almost. Okay, probably not. Hopefully not. This could be a head and shoulders, by the way. Shoulder, head, shoulder right here, and then boom. You know, possibly. Okay. For the NASDAQ, at least. Um, so that's what we're looking at as far as short float, short interest. Okay, bioengineering Twitter. Okay, this is this is huge. Okay, this is the catalyst I was talking about earlier. Uh, an executive uh, of BioNano, their chief executive officer, will present virtually at the BTIG Med, Med Tech Digital Health Life Science and Diagnostic Tools, Tools Conference, 1.30 p.m. Pacific Time. This is an extreme, this could be amazing, okay? The, anything can happen, nothing can happen, okay? Of course, it's going to take some groundbreaking news given that BioNano, the only downside to doing, to having such an activist role in uh, their Twitter and their shareholders with news that they do is it's that you got to really make some groundbreaking news for the shareholders to actually react to it because we're just used to, at this point, just getting good news just every day almost, you know? Okay, but this could be huge. This could be huge. No one knows what he's going to say exactly. At least I don't. So it'll be interesting to watch. Um, here, you go to their Twitter, and this is how you get. This is how you tune in. Current positions, Bio Nano. Current price, we are looking a little rough. Okay, we have already hit the March fourth price target, guys. And with the, with these price targets, you need to understand this. To, to be clear, once they hit the price targets, feel free to take profits if you are scared and if you're not trying to hold long term. For Bio Nano, I recommend holding long term unless there's some really clear, really clear symbol, uh, signal, and indicators in the technicals and and fundamentals, catalyst, whatever. That I see, that's basically the only time that I will be selling. I'm pretty much only adding shares at this point. That's what I'm doing currently. That's what I see myself doing in the near future. Unless, like I said, some clear resistance line that we're about to touch and I feel like it's, it's got a really low chance of continuing its climb. That's like the only time I would sell. And I don't, I'm, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Okay. End of your bear case 50, end of your bull case 100 to 200. Okay. I actually need to update this. Okay. That's my buy, hold, or sell rating out of 10. Okay, let's actually make this green. Yeah, because this is, <laughs> this guys, this tells you this. <laughs> okay, guys, this is a buy zone, in my opinion, especially if you can catch it back on this rectangular level of support. And if this gets back down here, guys, I mean, come on. <laughs> I can't just keep adding zeros. Yeah, I guess I could. Okay, I guess we can just do that. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, we can do that. But, you know, you get the point. Okay, you get the point. 
Okay, 10, that's where we're at. That's what I think. Okay, I can always be wrong. Do not come crying to me if you invest your life savings in the stock and then, you, and then you're ending up homeless. Okay, <laughs> don't do that. Don't have a little bit of risk management um, and invest in something like this in case the markets crash. Like they kind of, you know, we had like a flash crash today, essentially. So relevant information in regards to the title is finished now. Feel free to click off, my friends, if you have better things to do. Extra useful information. Beginners, listen up. Top tier of YouTubers as far as accuracy and transparency. Number one in accuracy is dead inside, in my opinion. Besides me, okay, I'm not included in this. Okay, uh, Trace Trades, he's the most transparent. And Zip Trader is probably the second most accurate, in my opinion. Um, there are several other good ones. This does not mean if your other YouTubers you watch are not on here. That doesn't mean they're bad. That doesn't mean you shouldn't trust them. Just, just be skeptical and be objective about everything you hear. I will make mistakes, guys. Do not expect perfection from me, yourself, or anyone. This is the great rule. Okay, remember this from we and days like this, days like this with the markets going down like this. Okay, you you can't you can't expect perfection like this because you'll go insane if you expect perfection and then you wake up one morning to a, a position list like this. Okay, look at this nine percent bio nano, eight percent AGTC. I'm getting killed today. Let's see what I'm down today. I'm down. Uh, well, I'm down like six hundred, seven hundred bucks, I think. Yeah, something like that. So that's what I'm down on the week, guys. And I and I don't you don't see me complaining. I'm holding, okay? I mean I mean, guys, come on, let's be honest. I'm 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 still up on the week. I'm still up five hundred dollars on the week, right? But hey, just just don't expect perfection. Don't expect instant gratification. Time in the market beats time in the market usually, but not in the Dave Ramsey type sense where you just invest in the market and the S&P. No, not in my opinion. Okay, y'all already know we have already beat Dave Ramsey's returns. Maybe, I think, honestly, in these last couple of months, I think we've maybe beat Dave's Ram Dave Ramsey's returns in his entire life. I think maybe 100%. Has Dave Ramsey made 100% in the stock market? Maybe. If he's, I mean, he is pretty old. He's been invested for like decades probably, but we've already beat him this year and several other years combined just with our three and a half months. Okay. I'm, you see what I'm saying? Okay. But back to the point. Okay. Also, if you think I'm ranting, I'm allowed to rant in this section. So you're at my mercy here. Be careful in the comments, guys. Bitcoin bots are here. Thumbnails. <laughs> what do you guys think of the thumbnails? Okay. Uh, yeah. I want, I want to hear your, I want to hear your guys' thoughts on the thumbnails. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't like putting a lot of work into them. You know, it only takes me like 10, 15 minutes. I don't want to like do like a, a clickbait type thumbnail, right? So I don't know. Let me know what you think. What, what does auspicious descent actually mean? This means conducive to succeed, and this means an unpopular opinion. I truly do appreciate the overwhelming majority of comments, which are extremely positive. Thank you all so, so, so much. Please do not hesitate to call me out on something if I'm missing something in the charts or anywhere else. Use several brokers. Uh, some advantages to this, if you don't already have Weeble, there's a link down in the description. You will get two free stocks worth a lot of money, potentially worth thousands of dollars, potentially. Um, and you get pre-market and after-hour trading. Very few other brokers offer this. Comment with stocks I need to cover next. Uh, I forgot to say this one. Follow stocks you on Reddit and Twitter. Uh, open a Roth IRA. Weeble does offer this. Another reason why using several brokers is amazing. Uh, comment any questions, I will answer them. The future does not consist of me asking for likes or subs or putting ads on videos. And support the channel and you will directly affect this style of high quality information in a concise way and quick way. Uh, becoming the new YouTube standard. And uh, <laughs> buy on it to the moon. Yeah, of course, of course. Buy on it to the moon. <laughs> Check the channel banner, by the way, guys. I put. I think that's actually really funny. Let me know what y'all think of that. Thank you so much. I will see y'all in the next one.